Okay, in this example, we are multiplying 13 and 8 tenths uh, by 2 and 5 tenths. And as always, we stack these things up. Before we go ahead and do our multiplication, I'm going to estimate what my answer might be. And when we estimate, we're changing our numbers to become something that it's, it's just easy for us to work with. We can do it in our head. So 13.8, I'm going to change that so that it's 10. It's pretty close to 10. Okay. That's an underestimate, right? 2.5, I'm going to estimate that to be 3. And I'm pretty sure we can all do that in our head. 3 times 10, or 3 tens, gives us 30. So I know my answer is going to be pretty close to 30. Um, whether it's an underestimate or an overestimate, you can take a guess at that. Um, so I'm going to put that number, sorry, 30, over to the side here. And we'll maybe come back to it. See how close we, we get. Um, now, before, again, before we get doing any multiplication, uh, I'm going to eliminate the decimals. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the decimals here. Um, and then we will work with them a little bit later. But it's easier to ignore our decimals right off the bat. Um, as in the other examples, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 5. We're going to go 5 times 8, 5 times 3, and then 5 times 1. That's what we're going to do first. So let's go ahead and do that. So 5 times 8 is 40. I'm going to put a 0 down there. Carry the 4. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, so I put a 9, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and then we're good for that row. Okay. In our next row, in our next row, we're going to multiply the 2 by the 8, and then by the 3, and then by the 1. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Except that's not really a 2, is it? That's not a 2, it's a 20. So, but we don't want to have to multiply 20 by everything. So what we do in our second row is we put a 0 right off the bat, no matter what. Now, this is a 0 up here just because 5 times 8 is 40. So that's kind of a little different. Um, that's just a coincidence. But in our second row, when we're multiplying uh, numbers, that second row will always, always, always have a zero in there um, because we're multiplying by tens, not by ones. Anyways, so let's go ahead. 2 times 8 is 16, so that's a 6. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is uh, 7. 2 times 1 is 2, and we should be good to go. Now, we add these babies up. Uh, we have zeros there, which will give us zero. 9 plus 6 is 15. 5, carry the 1. Uh, 7 plus 6 plus 1 is 14. Again, carry the 1, and we have 3. Now, what was our estimate again? Our estimate was 30. So where should our decimal go to make it close to 30? That's right. It's going to go right there. Now, the other way that you can figure out where the decimal goes, let's go back to our original numbers. Our decimal is right there, 13 and 8 tenths, and 2 and 5 tenths. We have, um, we have one decimal place there and one decimal place there. So that's two decimal, two decimal places um, that we have removed. So we could put them back in. We could go 1. 2, and put our decimal right there, and it works exactly the same way. Okay, so either strategy for figuring out where the decimal goes is just fine. Um, either this way, or using our estimates. Uh, both are really good ways to do it.